Hello everyone, I'm Rui Hongqiu, a PhD student from the University of Queensland. Today I'm going to share with you our SIG IR 2020 paper, GAG Global Attributed Graph Neural Network for Streaming Session Based Recommendation. This work is done with our collaborators, Hong, Dr. Hong Zhiyin, Dr. Zi Huang, and Dr. Tong Chen. In our paper, we discuss the task about a streaming session based recommendation. So traditionally, a recommender system will treat all the historical data equally. So under this situation, the recommender system will fail to capture the user's latest preference. Uh, the session-based recommendation is designed to uh, introduce the concept of a session to capture the preference shift. A session is always designed, is usually defined as a list of user item interactions within a certain period for a specific user. In this, in the left of this figure, it is a typical offline training of a session-based recommendation. But in real life, the data will always arrive at the platform continuously. So we need to uh, gra gradually update our uh, offline trained models. So in this paper we also want to uh, target at the streaming setting for the streaming uh, for the session based recommendation and there is another uh, question we want to focus on is that uh, the user's long term preference is also very important but in many current session based recommendation uh, methods they always assume that the user information is inaccessible to the model. So in our work, we also take this user information into consideration. Well, for the related work for session-based recommendation, it can general, generally be divided into two parts. The first part is the static setting, and the second part is the streaming setting. For the static setting, there are three main branches. The first branches is the RNN model. The RNN model like GRU Forex will treat the session as a time series and use the RNN uh, neural network like GRU to process the session data. And the second type of the session-based recommendation is about the attention-based model like NARM and STAMP. They usually assume that the last item is the most important item and use it as a query to calculate the self-attention score for other items. And the third types of the session-based recommendation model is the graph-based model like SGRNN, FGNN, and GCSAN. They usually uh, convert a session into a graph and then propose a uh, GNN modules to process the graph and to calculate a feature vector for the graph. So um, while for the streaming setting for the session-based recommendation, the SSRM model is the first one to focus on this setting. And SSRM is also an attention-based model, so it is similar to the NARM and STAMP. But SSRM takes the user information into consideration. It, uh, so it can has a most, uh, more powerful performance. Well, in the related work for the streaming setting, there are also a few types. The first one is the online learning. The online learning methods usually updates the model whenever the new data arrives at a platform. So this kind, this kind of updates will make the model quickly forget what the model previously learned. So it is inapplicable for real life situation. Another type is the random sampling. A random sampling will sample the data randomly from all the historical historical data so this kind of sampling is quite easy but it is uh, in, also inapplicable to a, a real real life situation because simple simply random sampling will always sample some easy data so it is less informative and another type is the reservoir setting the reservoir setting will design a flexible storage and sampling strategy for the model to uh, retain to retain the offline model, and it is also used by the SSRM. Well, here we give an overview of our proposed model. So it basically can divide into two parts. The first part is the static model. The static model begins from converting a session into a session graph, 
and then we propose our GAG modules to update the session graph and then calculate an updated global attributes U into UK. While after we have the UK, we can compare the UK with all other items in the item sets to calculate the uh, recommendation score. Uh, while for the streaming updates of our proposed model, it basically follows a sampling and storage updates of our reservoir pipelines. In detail, we firstly talk about how to convert a session into a global attributed session graph. Here, we want to convert a simple session into a graph with the user information. The graph includes the UVE. U here is the user embedding and the global attributes, while V indicates the node sets and E indicates the edge sets. A small V here indicates the an item ID and X is the corresponding node feature. And how, how do we define an edge? For example, V3 here is followed by V7. So there is an edge between X3 and X7 in a session graph. After we obtain the session graph, we propose our GAG module to um, do the node updates and the global attributes update. The first step is the node, up, node feature updates. It basically uh, consists of two steps. The first step is a concatenation of the global attributes and the original node features. And the second step is that we modify the GCM to make it adapt to our directive graph situation. Now uh, we make it by propagate the message passing steps twice. And the second step of the GAG module is the updates of the global attributes. The global attributes updates uh, is based on a self attention on itself. Like here, we want to calculate the U prime based on all the node feature and the U itself. And after we use the self attention to calculate the U prime, which is also the updated global attribute. We use it to uh, calculate a dot product with all other items in the item sets to calculate a recommendation score. While for the online updates of our proposed model, we propose the Wurzelsting reservoir here. The reservoir in our design is to choose hard samples for reaching our model. Uh, how do we define hard? Well, firstly, we, choo we will choose the sessions that uh, include some new items or new users. And then second, we want to choose the sessions that the model has a bad prediction result on it. So how do we define bad? And we basically want to calculate a gap or the distance between our prediction and the ground truth distribution. So to calculate the distance between two distributions, there are a few ways, like the first one is the versus staying distance. It is also known as the earth movers distance. This distance uh, calculates the uh, distance between the two distribution based on the lowest cost by moving one distribution to another distribution. And the second type of the distance is the KL divergence. The KL divergence calculates a relative entropy between two distribution, but KL divergence is not suitable for our situation. For example, if we plug in the prediction and the ground truth results in it, it will only consider uh, the prediction results on the ground truth items because other items is always assigned with the um, probability of zero by the ground truth distribution. While this similar case is also for the total variation distance because it calculates the maximum discrepancy between these two distributions. So it will only care about one items rather than all items. So here we, we use the Wurzelsting distance to calculate uh, the distance between the prediction results and the ground truth distribution. Well, for experiment setup, we use the two benchmarking data set, last FM and Gowala. Well, for metrics, we use the record AK and MRR AK. To simulate the streaming setting, we first split the data set into two parts. The first part is the training set, and the second part is the candidate set. And the candidate set is further split into five test sets, and we provide these five test sets 
to our model gradually to simulate the streaming situation. Our baselines, we compare our work with a few baselines here. And the SSIM is the currently sorted method. And it is demonstrated to be better than other methods uh, in its original work. While FGNN is the currently uh, proposed session-based recommendation methods. And it, we adapt it to the streaming setting by using our proposed reservoir. For the overall performance, we firstly, we can see that left two bars are our proposed GAG model and the GAG50 model. The 50 indicates the embedding size here. And we can see that our proposed model has uh, have the best result in all situation. And while we also can see that the user ID information is quite important compared with uh, GAG50 and FGNN, we use the uh, user information as the global attribute. And the SSIM and NAIM here, SSIM also use the um, user information to have a stronger result. While for the global attributes, we also um, do some evaluation. The global attributes is used in both no feature updates and the updates itself. And from this result, we can see that um, the global attributes updates in the node feature is more, is more stronger in the global attribute updates itself, but they are all useful. And we also evaluate the effect of our proposed reservoir. Um, we can, uh, under our experiments, we can see that the new day, the session with new items and new users is uh, helpful. And also the hard samples are also helpful for our training. And we also evaluate the reservoir size of, um, of the reservoir design. And the reservoir size is indicated by the set, by the size of the test set. And when compared with the default setting, we can see the orange, the orange line here, the large, uh, when the reservoir is larger and its performance will be worse. I, we think that it is because it includes too many use, too much useless data. While for the smaller reservoir, and it also performs worse. And we think that it is because it do not include enough informative data. While we also evaluate the window size of the reservoir and compared with the default compared with the default setting of the window size we can see that when the updates when the window size uh, is larger the performance is also better from this direction and when the window size is too small in contrast the performance will even be downward because well, we think that it is because the model can learn nothing under this small small window size. So in conclusion, we propose a GAG model to make use of the user information as a global attributes in the session graph for the session-based recommendation. Also to adapt to the streaming setting, we also propose a versus thing reservoir for the efficient online updates of our proposed static model here. So we find out that the global attribute benefits the model in both the node feature updates and the updates of itself. And, by, and in the end, we also find out that um, sessions with new items and sessions have bad results based on the versus thing distance calculation is a good metric for choosing some informative data to retrain our model. And thank you everyone. Thank you for your listening.